Hi everyone. In this video, let us see another example of five variable K-map. Here, second example, first example already we have seen in the previous video. So minimize the given function. Minimize the given function using k map so f is equal to summation of m of 0 1 4 5 6 13 14 15 22 24 25 28 29 30 31 okay so these are the min terms given 0 1 4 5 6 and so on now by seeing this we can uh, we can understand that it is coming under 5 variable k map because the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 31 so it is having total 32 number of min terms which can be covered under 5 variables now consider a 5 variable k map Consider five variable K map. So in five variable K map, we have to take two four variable K maps side by side, assuming that these two are one on another. Okay, so this, these are the five variables are nothing but A, B, C, D, E. These are five variables and first K map belongs to A equal to 0. Second K map belongs to A is equal to 1. And here we have B, C, D, E and here also B, C, D, E. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. 0 1 1 1 1 0 here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now map the given values already we know the location numbers 0 1 2 3 like that and again the second k map starts from 16 17 18 19 up to 31 okay so if you have any doubt you can represent in the beginning only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sorry, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, now 0, 1, 4, 5, 0, 1, 4, 5, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 13, 14, 13, 14, 22, 24, 22, 24, 25, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, now let us see how to map. Here four ones are there and here we don't have any one. So map four ones. Mapping I am showing in red color for better visibility. So this is one set. And here we have one one and here we have four ones. Okay, this is another set. You can combine these four ones as four group as a group of four ones. And here these two okay 
I will take a different color to show those two are same. This is one group which has the see when you are taking this second k-map onto the first k-map these two are one on another that means these two and these two can combine together as a four adjacent ones and here we have one here we have one okay so we don't have any chance 15 we have one right or 15 also we have one this is one 13 we have one 14 we have one okay 14 completed and in 31 also we have one so these two and these two we can combine so this one is having a relation with this one okay so take this as first and take this as second take this as third okay check whether all ones are completed or not nothing is left okay now if you write the expressions for one two three first one is nothing but where is the first one this is the first one so first one is completely belonging to a equal to zero block so definitely a bar will come a bar along with that here we have b bar and here we have d bar so a bar b bar d bar and second one second one which is coming from both the k maps a equal to 0 we have and as well as a equal to 1 so that's why a cannot come as common and here we have c and here we have d e bar d e bar Again, third one, this is third one, okay, in third, third is also coming from both the KMF, so A will not come as common, and here we have B, C, and here it is E, B, C, E, B, C, E, these are the three terms, anything is there, one, two, three, only three terms are there okay did we leave anything okay this one is there this is fourth one okay for this fourth term <clears throat> for this fourth term as fourth term is completely from this second k map which is which is k a equal to one so a and this b and here we have d bar a b d bar so if you write all these together in the given function f is equal to a bar b bar d bar plus c d e bar plus b c e plus a b d bar this is the simplified expression boolean expression for the given function f with five variables okay in some examples you may be asked to draw the output expression with a specific universal gate like nor gate or nand gate suppose if you are asked to draw the given uh, coming uh, simplified expression with respect to nand gate suppose let us draw the obtained function or simplified function f using universal gates universal gates are nothing but nand gate and nor gate because they can be used to implement any type of logic gate we are using nand gate okay so for that we have to apply complement because nand gate is a complemented form so a bar b bar d bar isn't it a bar b bar d bar plus c d e bar c d e bar plus b c e plus a b d bar 
a b d bar so apply complement on this one two complements to not to violate the original operation so if you apply one complement inside then it will be a bar b bar d bar whole bar c d e bar whole bar and here b c e whole bar and a b d bar whole bar whole bar so if you see a bar that is coming from a and operation b bar that is coming from an end operation and d bar can also be obtained from a nand operation and similarly these three can be multiplied together and passing through a nand gate okay so finally the nand realization the nand realization is obtained by taking the complement for the given or simplified expression for the simplified boolean expression okay so that is in and get here it is in and get in and get in and get and these four nand gates output is again passing through one more nand gate to get the f simplified expression that is s simplified so it is a b d bar a bar b bar d bar c d e and here one more is b c e b c e okay see here the nand realization is drawn by keeping in mind that the complement forms are available directly suppose in question if complement forms are not available directly if this statement is given then you have to take one nand gate with combined input two input nand gate with combined input by giving that input d that will give you a complement form like for example for example you are taking a nand gate see here a is there a is given here given here and it simply gives you the complement of input a bar okay that means if you are giving 0 0 0 both applied to the nand gate so nand gate with input 0 0 output is 1 and if input is 1 1 1 for the nand gate output is 0 so that means if the complement form can be obtained by taking the uh, short input a shorted input at the two input nand gate okay so this is the realization with respect to nand gates okay in the next video i will tell you how to simplify the given uh, expression in terms of product of sums by taking the max terms thank you